Yeah, I mean, the, the reality is, and I've been asking for months, and my opponent still can't finish this sentence. You can't expect her to ever fix it. But New York leads the entire nation in population loss because. She actually got asked this question by the media a few weeks ago when she was at Binghamton Airport. She probably would love to have a redo because she messed it up that time. For me, you ask me, why does New York lead the entire nation in population loss? Because their wallets, their safety, their freedom, and their quality of their kids' education are under attack. So they're hitting their breaking point. They're looking at other states like the Carolinas, Tennessee, Texas, Florida, and elsewhere, and they feel like their money will go further, they'll feel safer, and they'll live life freer. The state is at a crossroads. We were at a crossroads in 1994 when New York elected George Pataki, and we're at a crossroads right now. I've but got... as far as what happens with Kathy Hochul and one-party rule for four more years, outsized power of self-described socialists, we need balance and common sense restored to Albany. We're coming well, down the home like, stretch. With like just... I said, like with, I said, with, sound with... bites, not sound policy. That's we're, absurd. Like... We're, we're coming down the home stretch with um, only a few minutes. I'll ask you to be very brief with this. I want to ask about a downstate economic question, Mr. Zeldin. In normal times, New York uh, uh, collects more gaming revenue than any other state, about $3.7 billion, two-thirds of that is generated by scratch-offs and other lottery games. But right now, the state is moving toward uh, approving up to three new casino licenses in the New York City area. Of course, in the years since legalizing multiple forms of gambling, we've seen upstate casinos underperforming. We've seen warnings from the state controller that the hidden costs of gambling addiction are not being addressed. Uh, in light of all you know, should New York alter or pause plans to allow for casino gambling in New York City? Well, the big question is citing, and the answer is possibly. I mean, New York is continuing to uh, add casinos around the state. Uh, you're seeing the impacts. For example, you want to talk fairness to Seneca Nation, the local share that gets uh, taken out was based off of outdated times. They've now had all sorts of new casinos that have come in line. Siting is important. Local control is important. There is a process that is underway, and it shouldn't be jammed into areas that do not want it. We have to respect the will of the people. Mrs. Hulk. I'm not sure I heard the answer in there. No, we're not going to stop the process. This is an opportunity to recharge downstate communities, and there is a siting process. That's the one part I agree with, and it's underway because I got it moving. We have opportunity to create thousands of jobs. A lot of New York City workers who are in the hospitality field and worked in entertainment and places where they still haven't come back yet because of the pandemic that we can give them jobs working in these places as well as generating more revenues for our children to be able to get a good education. Under a plan to cut taxes, which is all you talk about, cut tax. I have to ask, where are you going to get the funding for education, investments in child care and paid family leave? So I think you've got to have a real solid plan and not just all this rhetoric we're hearing.